In this video, we're going to look at some vision tracking scripts, which are especially useful in VR. So you can see there's some sparkly fish here. And when I look at one for long enough, it will eventually burst into golden goodness. So I'm not looking perfectly at the fish to make it do that, but I'm generally looking at it for a while. So let's start by looking at this simple test scene. We've got a sphere here and a cube and the player in the middle. And I'll press play. We can move around too, but so, whoops. So there's the cube. And let's look at, there's three numbers for each the sphere and the cube. Let's look at the one on the far right, score. Okay. So when we're directly looking at the cube, the score is one. And as we start to look away, the score goes down. So it's a, it says negative one to one, because now I'm looking directly away from the cube and it's a negative one score. So let's look at the code and see how I came up with that number. So the first thing to note is this is my cube. I have just attached the vision tracker script to it. So let's look at vision tracker. So this script looks a little longer than it is because I've added lots of comments. You can download it in the description, but I really recommend you listen to the video so you know how, to, how it works and how to change it for yourself. So here's our function that gets that score from negative one to one. And really the only thing going on here is a dot product. So you can go to any search engine and look at dot product and see all kinds of useful pictures. But here's the situation really. This is us, the observer, and this is our cube that we're maybe looking at. So this would be a perfect line. If we were looking like this, this would be 100%. And let's say we're actually looking this way. Okay, so this is the direction we're looking. What we want to do is let's say that this, this red line here, its length is 1. So in this case, I'd be happy getting a result right about here. So the result could be like maybe 0 0.6. And what we've really done is we've projected this top green one, we've flattened it onto the red one, and we've kind of come up with a new vector right here. And its length is a fraction of the red length. And you can imagine if I were to be looking straight up, you know, I'm barely looking at that red cube, you know, because this is absolutely not looking, but so I'm just barely looking over. There is actually a little bit, you know, I could flatten this down. There is a little, a little bit here. I'd be 0 0.05. So if we do the dot product of this, dot product that, we get this. So player to object, that's where we take the position of our cube minus our position. So player to object is this red one. We have look direction, which is just the direction we're looking. That's this green one, or maybe this green one, wherever we're looking. And then we do the vector three dot product of the two. One thing to be careful of, we have to actually do normalize and make sure they're unit vectors. This means they're length one. Remember when I said this red one is length one? Well, that's not true, you know, maybe my position over here is at negative a thousand and this is at positive two thousand so there's a really big distance between us we actually just want to make sure that this red line isn't the entire three thousand distance thing so we may actually have a situation more like this where the red is that direction pointing straight to the cube but it's only length one and then the actually the, the camera one is always length one. So it's never going to give you anything crazy. It's always going to be a length one vector. So I didn't have to normalize a look direction because this forward is always length one, but we got to make this one length one. So that'll guarantee that this is zero to, or negative one to one. And the vector three dot dot actually just returns one number. It doesn't return a vector. It returns one number, the length of that projection. So that's how this score is calculated. Now the way you use this script is you can attach it to any object you want. Vision tracker right here has been attached to it. 
And the script actually assumes that your camera, your main camera, is where it's coming from. And this will work with uh, VR uh, setups as well. It's, the assumption is usually good. And once you've attached it to that cube, this is just the ugly code I've written to show the text on the screen for my testing. But here I'm just going through finding every vision tracker. And this vision tracker, VT, you can do stuff to it. And in this case, we're getting the look score. So any component anywhere, any script can access vision tracker and do get look at score as many times as it wants. And it'll get that number from negative one to one. So I hope that was useful. And in the future videos, we're going to look at the history and the direct history uh, scores as well and how I got those.